Hi there, my name is Samantha Cavallo and I am the Chief Marketing Officer of Practice of the Practice. Today we're going to be continuing our series on tech tips, so answering some niggling questions you've had about technology. Today we're going to be focusing on zip folders and how to take screenshots on your PC. So just a disclaimer ahead of time, I'm working on an iMac, so I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Macs, but I will also be explaining how to do it on Windows if you're working on a Windows PC. So first and foremost, let's take a look at zip folders. If you're wanting to create a zip folder, you literally just need to select the files that you want to include in the zip folder. So let's say I wanted to include this screen recording and this illustration, I'm going to select them by holding down command and selecting them, then right clicking and saying compress two items. This is then going to create a zip folder of those two items, which I can then send to whoever I need to. And if you receive a zip folder that you need to open, you're simply going to double click it and it will then open the folder, which will include the two files that you've included in that zip. So that's how to do it on an Apple computer. If you're working on a Windows, you're going to right click the files that you want to compress and say send to, which will then open another menu, which you will select, select compressed folder. In order to open a zip file on a Windows PC, you also just double click it and it will then open to reveal the contents of that zip folder. Moving on to how to create or how to take a screenshot on your PC. So if you're wanting to take a screenshot of the entire screen on your Apple computer, you're simply going to hold down Shift, Command and the number three and you'll see the screenshot has appeared in my bottom right hand corner there and it then gets saved to my desktop in a minute, there we go. So there is the screenshot that I've just taken. If you're wanting to only take a screenshot of the portion of a portion of the page, you're going to hold down shift command and the number four and you'll see that your mouse turns into um, a different kind of icon that you can then click and drag whatever area of the screen you want to take a screenshot of. So let's say I wanted to just take a screenshot of that. Then as soon as I let go, it's going to capture that area and again, save it to my desktop. There it is. And for those of you working on an Apple, I'm just clicking on spacebar to open up this preview of the image. Again, if you're working on a Windows computer, you're going to hold down the Windows key together with the PRTSCN key if you want to take a screenshot of the entire screen. Otherwise, you're going to hold down the Windows key along with Shift and S if you're wanting to do a screen grab. 